Hello everyone, this is Fluke from Ascension Gaming, bringing to you another video from the Brilliant War of Power Part 2. Well I say brilliant because I actually enjoy it. I thought I would bring this video to you, it's just a solo, nothing exciting. Um, it's just to let you know about the feats that you can get in this. There are three all together. The first feat is very um, easy, well it, it should be, um, just don't die pretty much. Um, don't get knocked out in this solo instance. And the trick is just to take your time. As you can see, there's a wee bit of ads as you walk up to the main boss room, but as long as you let Hal Jordan do his thing, just hang back and range. Um, if you're a main DPS or a good alt DPS, you should manage this no problem. Um, they do hit hard, so the quicker you kill them, the better. Um, I chose this video as well because there is one feat that's pretty hard to get, um, and it's KO and two bosses within 15 seconds of each other. You can actually do any two bosses you want out of the three. Um, everybody has their own preference, so. But it's tough because you've got one boss trying to hit on you, and another one's jumping, and if you, it's just it's complicated. So anyway, you get up to this part here, and as you can see, Sinestro's dead as usual. Um, so you'll go in and kill the couple of ads. Once you've done that, you'll raise Sinestro, and you will pretty much pick one of three bosses to kill. Um, just quickly, the third feat as well is killing the three bosses in different orders, so you need to do it six times and that's a 25 feet point as well, so pretty easy for that one. Um, the KO one, not dying basically, hits 10 feet points, so. so as you can see, just killing the ads before picking up Sinestro's lazy ass off the ground. Um, starting from, you have basically starting from the left, face, in the middle is Blaze, and then the far right is um, Furious Metallo. Um, I'm going to go for Furious Metallo because he's one of my orders I need. So, just to let you know as well, I've actually got the feet for killing the two bosses within 15 seconds. So, I wouldn't show you actually getting the feet, I'm just giving you a little bit of tip on what to do with it. So, anyway, uh, what you'll do is after Sinister just stopped yapping, you'll pick one. So, uh, that's the orange barrel there that you can see, just it's handy, believe me. So yeah, Furious Metallo. Um, he's not too bad. He does a couple of ranged attacks, which you can try and get out of if you're fast enough. Um, he does a kind of red marker on the ground, just roll out of it, don't be standing in it. Um, and just pretty much DPS as fast as you can. Sinestro's doing nothing, because I don't expect him to help at this bit. Um, so yeah, um, I see him using dual wield. Just personal preference. I've used hand blasters before, but dual wield seems quicker. So, um, and my loadout's pretty self-explanatory. Although I have switched something out since then, um, <laughs> after I was told. So, um, but yeah, just pretty much DPS metal. I'm going to quickly grab this bucket. Don't take any risks. If you've not got that feet for KO, and just take your time. Just grab the buckets. You, you can always wait till things ca cool down. The supply drops and psychics and that. So. So that's him dead. Please, guys, remember there's two waves of ads after each boss, so don't run ahead and quickly select your next boss because you'll have a boss and two sets of ads, so take your time. Um, so just be patient. It's quite good, it gives you time for your cooldown. So we'll just kill the ads. Oh, look, Sinestro's helping. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I'll kill these dudes. Um, masked hair for the win, tell me I love that move. So kill these ads and you kill your second set of ads and if you're not one if you've done the 15 second one you can just one boss at a time but if you've not this is what you have to do so take your time grab the ads and if need be let everything cool down they come in so handy um, a lot of people say to kill Blaze first because she's a little bit harder personally I think Vice is tougher and look I've just happened to left both hardest ones but I don't plan on doing natural feet because I've already got it, so I'd rather get a bit closer to my other one. Um, so we'll kill the second set of ads. Um, I'm sitting at 188 skill points at the minute, um, nothing spectacular, but um, and I primarily spec into vitalization as a controller um, because that's my main role. My gear's not too great as a DPS; it's sitting at 94s, 95s, so um, it's something I do on the side, just when I'm bored, but controlling is my main role. So forgive me here if I make a few mistakes. Um, any guys are 
any of you guys that are full DPS would be fine, absolutely fine for this. So watch AOE moves by the way because the trick to this is actually to get one of those, one of these bosses down to about 20% health and then bring out the other one and just focus on him. And then once he's down to 20% kill both of them but um, it doesn't always happen that way so if you've got AOEs best not use them when you get to a certain level of them. Yeah, so Vice here, he's very, oh, it's the exact same to what he does in the wind, he charges. So he's annoying, really annoying, because he knows how to block, right, just like he did there. Um, and he's got a habit of lunging at you, so as you can see, he's targeting Sinestro, but that doesn't last for long. So yeah, the wee skill above his head will come up, oh, there you go, just popped up, just dodge it, plenty of time. So um, again, try and keep your colas and supply drops to the second boss that you bring out because you're going to need it, especially when two of them are hitting on you. So yeah, as a DPS, um, this is my loadout as you can see. Um, with the new advanced mechanics coming, it'll be interesting to see how that changes, but for the minute that's what I stick to um, for a DPS. Um, nothing is special. And that's supercharge I love. So I know it's not the best, the crits are crap, but it's good. Just gonna grab the health barrel, get a little bit of health. Probably should have died there. Right, so now just for the purpose of this video, probably leave them a bit there if you've got AoEs. If you've not, take them down a little bit more. Um and then just leave, yep, grab the other boss. Just gonna pop the supercharge now, why not? Okay, so Blaze is not too bad, she's got AOE moves, so just like you just seen there, the big red splodges. Um, for this particular video, I Vice was dying as I was targeting Blaze. I took him down too much and my sidekicks decided to get in any action um, and kill him before I could get a chance to kill Blaze. But what you would do is, hopefully you would just take one away to the side and kill as fast as you can. And um, once you've done that and they're both down to millimetres kill them both and you should get feet. Now you should also get the no deaths if you take your time. You know, if you don't rush in, you should get that one as well. And then the last one's just getting them all in the same order. Once that's done it's pretty simple and that's you done the, the kinda the feats. This solo also counts towards your solo instances, so that's a little bit of a bonus. But for me anyway, I hate solos. And it's actually quite quick and fun. And it gets you your marks of power and fury so you can't complain. <laughs> Um yeah, so pretty much just kill. Um I'll be looking to do a video on the duo hopefully next with Violet. Um she's a healer. Hopefully will help me do a little bit of commentary as well. So thanks for watching and give me a like if you like it. <laughs>